Hello, my soccer universe. To part two of the Premier League season jersey review. This season is, of course, 2020 2021. That's a mouthful. 2021 season, we can say. Um, where is the only way video where I have only the jersey of one team? How do I determine which teams got into the video since this is part two? I saw with Manchester City and I assigned them to the second video. And you know, I went and by the table three, four, four. Three, two, and with that, uh, it got that uh, wolves got into the video, and then I went so so. It's basically dropped them into uh, that uh, last season table in parts of t uh, in parts of four, and then kind of switch a little bit around and then order them alphabetically. So that's why Manchester City is the only team that I have a jersey of in this video. And yeah, I needed to change the wall a little bit and unfortunately I have only of two teams more than one jersey and that's Chelsea and Liverpool for some reason. So yeah, a little bit, a lot of Chelsea up there, but hey, I used to love Chelsea a lot, I have to say. Uh, yeah, then Abramovich came, but that's a whole different story. Uh, still, when they do well, I actually like it. We're not starting anything, Chelsea is not in this video, so uh, not part of it, we'll start at Brighton who, how to say, get a very interesting Nike kit uh, in the sense that instead of having the blue and white stripes, we get now blue with white pinstripes. And I was actually expecting that the away jersey, spoiler alert, is not the exact reversal of that, uh, which would mean that they are always in blue and white stripes. I think Southampton pulled the trick uh, once. It's an unusual look, but I have to say, if we wouldn't think stripes the pinstripe look is okay actually not the bad one i'm talking about as a fan of lusk who actually issued uh, actually issued uh, pinstriped uh, jerseys last season for the european campaign which really looked great so in that sense yes i like pinstripes as a brighton look hmm it goes a little bit on the dark side i have to say it gives the team maybe a kind of a different feel to it Still, I like the color, although I, Nike makes the colors. Although this one actually looks, but you know, the, most of the polar color, polo colors, I find them they're not wide enough. They're just too little, a little, a little bit there. Um, the other thing of con point of contention for me is the kind of haphazard splash of gold with the swoosh on there, which I uh, maybe a little bit on the side as well. Still, uh, there's too much to like about this one, to be honest, said I can give this eight stars. The splash of gold makes sense because the yellow away jersey, and this is a new Nike template. They take, like Adidas did with their early 2000 color, they take like the mid 2000s uh, Nike color, although it looks completely different uh, in this version, um, and splash it on the, one of their new template jerseys. And we'll see this template pop up quite, quite a few times when we look over all the leagues. Yellow and blue make a nice contrast to uh, the blue away. And there is a point to be made that I, I read on the Museum of Jerseys page. Every team should be managed by a Premier League to issue a yellow away jersey. And I think it would make a whole lot of sense for many if not most teams to have a yellow away jersey. It would not look out of place and it will always provide the necessary contrast. For that reason, yes it's a template, it's an, it doesn't look bad. I think the jersey really do, do, doesn't look bad and can give the seven stars. Let's move on with it. I mean even the sponsor is uh, fine. Uh, sponsor fine, now we cannot say this. Love bet. <sighs> As much, you know, I actually, and it's a long time, time ago, and there's not much knowledge left. I actually uh, I took a year Chinese classes. So there is some love for me for the Chinese cult culture. But as a sponsor, Chinese letters are just a cluster mess. It's way too much on there. Uh, yes, I understand you want to put both on there. It's an Asian bookie, but it's just too much. It makes... A really nice looking Burnley jersey, I haven't mentioned the name of the team yet, uh, Messi. The one thing that this jersey, I think, uh, I don't know, I, I actually really like the color. 
Uh, that, that I would have liked to see with West Ham. Maybe the only thing is that the sleeves, you know, you have the uh, kind of t-shirt like sleeves, but then they have this add-in to kind of extend the maroon over the shoulder and then uh, the light blue starts a little bit too low. It's really the sponsor that messes with this jersey and I'm going to give this seven stars. Uh, similar problem we have with the away jersey. Here though, Umbro, I mean, black, all right. As I said, it probably will need a white version or a lighter version as well. And I thought they had a light blue, but I think this was last season's. Um, there's maroon is missing in this jersey because if you see the color, there's only the light blue outline. Uh, around the collar and around the uh, proper left sleeve, <sighs> this one-sided thing is was never. I'm never a big fan of it. But if you look at the pattern, I actually like that there's the lion up there as well. Um, so it's not a bad looking shirt. But also there's something a little bit off. I'm gonna give this six stars. Um, Leeds United. In a way, I'm glad to see them back because I think they are the as a team that uh, belongs in the Premier League. Um, I really liked most of the cup jerseys and they switched to Adidas. And what does Adidas do? They give you a classic Adidas shirt. And since you're not a big team, you're not going to get anything special. And this is exactly white Adidas top with a little bit of blue on there and then slap the crest on. And then I'm a rather unwieldy uh, sponsor. This jersey could so much use just a little dash of yellow. You know, make the sleeve curves instead of uh, blue, uh, yellow and blue. Do a little bit with the color, make the make it a blue and yellow color. It could use a little bit yellow. yellow. The yellow on the um, uh, crest is just too little. And yes, I, I know, I, I think the crest needs a little bit of updating in my opinion, but I think just the rows from the top would make it for a much better crest. My personal opinion. It's just something missing. That's just something missing on this one. It's just bang, average, boring, five stars. Uh, the away jersey though, that's a lot more exciting. See, Adidas can do something and that uh, reminds me straight of Anthony Ye Yeboah. Maybe the gold, especially putting into crest is a little bit overstating it, but then again, you are champions of the championship. So that's a mouthful to say. Maybe it's justified. But I have to say, I like this one. I always like a green and blue jersey because that's a color combination you don't see very often. So it makes it stand out. And I, I remember that Leeds was one of the first teams to have that one. And I always liked that one. So uh, while the home jersey is boring AF, uh, this one really hits a sweet spot for me. That's despite, uh, I think the sponsor is really preventing this from, from getting a better one. This is Adidas at its best. I give this nine stars and I'm not uh, afraid to, uh, to, 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 to do so. If the sponsor was nicer, we would go a little bit higher, but this is a really interesting and nice jersey. Interesting, we can definitely say about what Manchester City is putting out this year. Uh, we have not seen any Puma jerseys yet. Puma has, of course, the Crafted by Culture, which we saw already with the Italy kits. And as much as I lambasted initially the green Italy kit, I meanwhile want to really, really, really have it. I'm going to have all the Italy kits. So, for the club jerseys, and I think it's a great, commendable idea. Take, and they did it uh, last season with the away jerseys already, take a little bit from local culture and splash it onto the jersey. And seemingly in Manchester, I'm not a never been to man manager I'm not a um, expert but um, I read mosaics a big over Manchester so of course make a mosaic kit <sighs> you know what this reminds me for of of the Marvel comics the Fantastic Four this speak to and you know I'm not a superhero a Marvel a expert but but uh, of this uh, rocky dude uh, that's what this reminds me of no, <laughs> this is just, oh. I know you cannot issue a light blue jersey every year. And I have to say last year's with the purple was also a little bit much. But you know, look at the color. You have the white, make it go all, all the way. If you have the mosaic pattern, make it a little bit more mosaic. Like this really looks like it's fall, it's breaking apart. Like it's more like someone uh, threw 
a rock at the glass and then it's one of the sides where it just splitters. It's not necessarily a mosaic. For a mosaic, it, there needs to be some pattern in there. That's what's missing here. If there was some pattern, you know, two shades and then make something out of it. Make for crying out loud a football, but you know, if you make the, the rose from the crest out of it, that would look better. This is just mm, too much. It's too much. It's four stars. It's not horrible, but it's not good either. Um, did I say black with some gold, but this is some rosy gold. That is probably my favorite Manchester City kit of the season. I still don't think it's all that great. I have to say the pattern fits, sits a lot better with me. This is this iron steel work contra construction that uh, I, ac I actually like. I mean, it's something good to look at and it has some rigidity to it. So for that, I think this is, that is definitely the best looking one. Uh, not all is all on the monochromatic crest, although it makes some sense. It gives it some strong look here. Uh, it's not as good as the West Ham United kit that we saw, but I am willing to give this uh, seven stars. And then let's jump into bed because these are bad sheets. Yes, clothing industry, blah, 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 pattern. No, absolutely no. If I'm a player and I'm run over the, I mean, this is, yes, it's geared towards the female fan. Uh, or, you know, uh, 60s inspired, if you want to, you know, beat, uh, I shouldn't say Beatles because they're from Liverpool, you know, but the 60s fashion that they're from Austin Powers and so on. This is where this comes from. I mean, this is a hippie shirt or whatever. It's not a soccer shirt. Uh, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's too flowery. It has no, there is no, except there's no power. It's just too flowery. Three stars. Although I even like the colors of myself, but no, absolutely no, please. Back to the drawing board. Get a, get some 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 better. And this is the problem with the Puma Crafter by Culture approach. Uh, very often it just does not sit well. Let's move on to Wolves. Uh, I know I by now I should probably have a Wolves jersey, but I actually like the sleeves. The cuffs are too wide. Uh, the pattern I think is inspired by the, the you know the famous 1988. The Ned Ned Netherlands jersey just turned around. So yeah, that that's all right. But what's the biggest problem with that one? The sponsor. The sponsor is hideous. Hideous. Everything else I think is fine. I, I actually have to say I like last season's with a little bit more splashes, a little bit better. But the sponsor is hideous. Absolutely killing this jersey. Uh, other than that, I think it's a fine Adidas effort. I wonder if it wouldn't look better with just golden sleeves, but then, you know, you wouldn't have the pattern on there. So uh, all black sleeves probably would also look not that bad. But I think it's over a decent jersey, just that the sponsor is hideous. For that, I have to give it, yeah. In my mind, the great is still not dropping. Uh, I'm gonna give it a six star look. If, that, if they had a nice sponsor, I think we could talk eight, if not nine here. But that sponsor, down, down. And then probably one of the most controversial shirts of the season. Uh, the away jersey. Just imagine it if, take the blue away and we would have a perfect away jersey minus the sponsor. I have to say, I don't dislike the blue on there. I really don't. Uh, even the pattern, <laughs> I know, I just uh, really hate it, put some hate on this Manchester City third church or jersey. There is something in there, you know, it looks strong with the collar, with the um, uh, sleeve cuffs and the white. <sighs> but why add a fourth color? Why? I think it's just because you can. Uh, this is definitely one of the most, I mean, I, I literally don't hate it. There is something about it that the, the blue with the yellow, you know, the contrasting color, colors, there is some, 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 something in there. Right with the sponsor and yeah. Five against better judgment. I mean, three, four, five, it could, but I don't hate it. And that's maybe, uh, I don't know why. I, I don't know why, but I really don't hate it. So yeah, there, there you go. I give it five stars. Pile on me. Right now, pile on me. Uh, 
<laughs> completely discredited myself by giving out Tedium by dishing out the five stars here. But you know, it's my personal opinion. I want to hear about your opinion about all of these jer jerseys. Uh, at work, we are discussing jer jerseys, and you know, I have a colleague. Whatever I like, he doesn't, and the other way around. I think we could agree on this jer jersey uh, that this is a nice one. But hey, everyone has got an opinion. This is mine, my channel. So I want to hear yours. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing and clicking the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a wonderful day. Bye!